Okay, I do have to ask you this question though. Uh, it was in season 80. Okay, because you, you were talking okay. about you were talking about the intensity of trainings. And there was this infamous moment in Lady Spiker's history that happened in season 80. So you play against Adamson and you lose. It was a shocking upset. And after the game, Coach Ramil De Jesus says, Pang barangay yung laro ng Lady Spikers. And it set the social media world on fire. I mean, you were there, Gaira. Did you go back to TAF to practice on that day? <laughs> yeah, we did. We oh went back God. to training. Uh, okay. Huh. Uh, well, could you recall okay. the events of that day as in... Because uh, I can only imagine what happened right after. Like, siguro on the bus palang going back to school. Like, tell us about that day. <laughs> let, let me just say it was a very intense day. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, I don't know. Coach, coach didn't, I don't think Coach Ramil meant to offend anyone with hmm. um, Pambaranga yung laro, laro. I think it's just to remind us that we were given this platform. We were given this chance to play for the UAAP. We should show them that um, we're here in the UAAP. Mm. Everyone was having a bad game, I think, that day. And then Adamson, Adamson was having a really good game. So um, when we lost, coach just reminded us that this isn't how you play. Why, why are you playing so like you're down? Uh, you this isn't a lady spiker like that's what he was telling i guess that's what he was telling us that's what he wanted to remind us so we were so quiet <laughs> on the way back that after everyone was so quiet in the bus like uh because we were thinking about of course what could have happened in the game what could we have done differently and then when we got back to taft coach just reminded us on the court what we could do na um, he showed us how hard, how hard the training was. That we should always play a good game, and he, I guess, that was a wake up call for us. Na, na you should, you should embrace what you have, and then embrace the platform given to you and the chance to play for the UAAP. He reminded us what our seniors did and how they, how they, um, how they used to play, and I guess that what. That was an eye opener for us, and we woke up, mm. give, saying, and then we talked afterwards that we have to br- we have to pull each other up, and we have to remind ourselves even if we're down, we have to remind the other person that hey, you used to do this, you can do this. Um, this is not how you used to play. So I guess Coach Ramil just wanted to wake us up in that moment that you guys are more talented than what you think. So. I don't know. I guess it was a very, very, very hard day for each and every one of us when we got back to task when we trained. But it, it gave us this chance to see that, yeah, why are we wasting our chance to play, to play for the school, play for the team? If we can do it more intensely, that was what coach was looking for, the intensity of the game. Because we didn't play as intense that day. So it was a good wake-up call because... After that, we didn't win. We didn't lose another game. Yeah, I think it was 11 straight wins after that. If, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, on the way to a third consecutive championship. Because it's season 8, eh, So uh-uh. the, the, the last three-peat that you guys had was season 78 to 80. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, well, you guys... It's a good wake-up call. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a good wake-up call. But yun nga... Uh, Di ka naman namatay sa training that, that night. Still alive but barely breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was worse, of course, for that time our captain at the Joy. Yeah. Siyempre, she was the example. So Oh yeah, because like coach, the captains are always the first one who's, who's gonna suffer the brunt of... Uh, the captains have it <laughs> worse than anyone. So I guess it was really hard for Ate Joy. It's also a wake, it was also a wake-up call for our seniors. Na uh-huh. we, they have to lead the team. It's their last playing year. You yeah. know, leave their mark. And they did. Like, what an amazing mark they left. And, and for, for you guys, diba, when you see your captains going through that, 
Parang we were mahi- crying. Mahi- mahihiya kayo eh, di ba? We were, we were tearing up na. Na, like, we, our captain doesn't deserve this. It's her what, last play. What, 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 was, what was Joy play, doing? Play. Ano, walang katapusang one man ba yan? <laughs> And then, siguro, ha, oh my gosh. Pero, the time na naiyak ako, naiyak kaming lahat was, uh, habang Ate Joy was having a hard time when one man siya ni Coach, yeah. she was screaming all our names. Oh! Like, oh, even right now, like, thinking about it, it, it's such a nostalgic moment na, para sa'yo to, Coach, para sa'yo to, Gaira, para sa'yo to, Kiana. Like, every ball she would touch. Wow! So, that was, everyone on the court was crying. Uh, in the court in Razon, we were crying kasi we should do this for our seniors. We should do this for the Rosalian community, for coach. We forgot. Siguro yun. We forgot the who we were fighting for. Um, And that woke us up like right now. <laughs> yeah, just imagining that uh, I, I, I got goosebumps all over just 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 imagining that. Because I've seen I, I've seen Coach Ramil administer yung one man na yan. I, I, I saw Michelle Gumabao silenced and her shoulders na nakabagsak. Eh, di ba? Michelle is... Mm. Michelle is Such Michelle. a strong person. Yeah, I've, I've seen Abby gasp for air because of that one man. So, I mean, I've never seen Joy, but you telling the story. Wow. Nakakilabot. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.